From the brilliant Irving Berlin score of this picture, Alice brings us Everybody's Step. So I don't know about you guys, but quarantine has been a little bit rough on me. It's been four months since I interacted with another soul, and I fear that any more of this will drive me to total insanity. So to fix this, I decided to tear down walls. To use augmented reality to connect me with my best friend 3,000 miles away. And how? By building a portal. A portal that connects my room to his and let us hang out with each other like we were actually there. A portal that lets us be virtual roommates. In this video, we're gonna build this project together and show you how space will never be the same again. Welcome to Lucas Builds the Future. Alright, so here's the plan. First, me and Aiden are gonna 3D scan our rooms using some crazy scanning apps. Then, we're gonna create realistic avatars of ourselves and rig them up so they can move exactly the way we move. Then finally, we use augmented reality to connect everything together to a digital hole in the wall. One that can only be created by the use of an IoT sledgehammer. By the way, did I tell you guys that we're gonna have to do this all in seven days? Cause yep, in seven days I gotta move out of my apartment, so... Tick tock, little birdie! Tick tock! Alright, so to 3D scan our room, we're gonna be using a technique known as photogrammetry. So this is how it works. First, we take hundreds, and I mean hundreds of photos from every single angle of whatever it is we're trying to scan. Then, we grab all those photos and we throw them into photogrammetry software that will use the images to make a 3D reconstruction of our object. And if you do this right, you can make some of the best looking 3D models on the whole goddamn internet. I mean, look at this. Look at the shit people are making with photogrammetry. I mean, oh my god! But here's the problem though. We only have one week to make this, and learning traditional photogrammetry sounds like a little bit of a pain in the ass. So instead, we're gonna take a shortcut. We're gonna use 3D scanning apps. So look at it this way. Traditional photogrammetry is like the finest pizzeria of Roma, and 3D scanning apps are like the pizza from Chuck E. Cheese's. It's not very good, but it gets the job done fast. But oh boy, was it expensive. To run the scanning apps, I had to buy the latest iPad Pro, which cost $800 and took two days to ship, which meant that we only had five days left. But hey, if the scans are good, then baby, it'll all be worth it. Uh-oh. That, that doesn't look like my room. Oh no, 3D scanning apps. Oh no, oh, oh shit. Wait, this one looks pretty good. There's a lesson here, kids, and that is that shortcuts have costs. I should have learned photogrammetry the right way from the beginning, but instead I try to do things the quick and dirty way, and now we have this. Lost and confused, I needed some guidance. I needed light. Greetings, mortal. I am Azad, the god of photogrammetry. I have been watching you trying to scan your room. I have also seen you taking shortcuts with these hot, new, young, hot, gizmo apps and iPad scanners. To obtain the results you seek, you must follow the ancient text, the ancient ways of photogrammetry. Teach me. I'm a master. I'm a master of photogrammetry. Oh, oh. I could yes. not believe what I was yes. seeing. These models yes. looked exceptional. It and believe it or not, each one of them was only 25,000 triangles. That's, that's nothing. You can run this on a computer, on a phone, and even the freaking potato. And although 3D scanning apps are pretty shitty right now, it'll only be a couple of years before they reach photogrammetry levels. And at that point, anyone will be able to save any place they visit and store them on their phones. And that's, that's pretty amazing. Both for historical preservation, but also personal use. I mean, I would love to have a copy of my childhood home so I can show it to my grandkids one day. So after saving my models and thanking Azad profusely for his help, we were finally ready for part two of the project. Okay, so things are going pretty well so far. I have a 3D scan of my room and Aiden has one of his, and now we can finally move on to scanning our bodies. Now, we don't have the time to get a professional scan done, so instead, I took a shortcut. I used a scanning app named N3D, and this was the final result. All right, here we go, and... Wait, what? You see, 
there's a lesson here, kids, and that is that shortcuts have costs. And in this case, the costs are mostly nightmares for several weeks. Now, I did get several other scans, and they looked much better once I had my clothes on, but I still looked like PS1 graphics, and that was not gonna do. I am a fancy-ass bitch. I want the finest scans in the land, the creme de la creme, the kind of shit that only Jay-Z can get. And to get in, I was gonna have to drive down to Los Angeles. This is Microsoft's Mixed Reality Studio, a massive structure with 106 cameras that turns video into holograms we can use in augmented reality. Now, usually renting out these places costs like $100,000 a day, but I was able to sneak in, get a couple of quick T poses, and get out before anybody noticed. And boy, was it worth it. Yes, it was a productive trip, but it also took me two and a half days. With only 12 hours left on the clock, I was gonna have to go all out. We were going to hack all night. So now, we have almost everything that we need, and there's only two bits missing. The code that stitches it all together, as well as the IoT sledgehammer. So grab your Mr. Robot hoodies and get ready. Because it's code in time. Alright, for this part of the project, we're going to be using a device named the Magic Leap 1. It's an augmented reality headset that tracks our physical environment and lets us add digital objects on top of the real world. So I fired up Unity and wrote a script that analyzes the mesh of my room in search of an empty wall. Then, as soon as that wall is found, it populates it with destructible digital blocks that are hiding the skin of the other room. So far so good, but how do we knock that wall down? Well that's where the IoT sledgehammer comes in. Now for us to detect collisions with my wall, we need to track the hammer's position in real time. And there's many ways we can do this, going from optical tracking to gyroscopes and magnetic sensors. But we don't have a lot of time left, so we're going to be taking a shortcut. Now, I know what you're thinking, but this time it's gonna be different. Because I hacked my own IQ, and it's now 3000. 3000. Oh, can you feel this? Oh, here it comes! Yeah, you see, the solution is actually quite simple. Every Magic Leap comes with a positionally tracked controller. So if you wrap it around the sledgehammer, we have ourselves a positionally tracked sledgehammer. That's that's it. That's that's the whole thing. <laughs> I guess this goes to show you that sometimes shortcuts don't have costs. Anyway, up next, I had to figure out body tracking and networking. So I recruited a Super Elite 420 hacksaw. I recruited. A done wolf. To track the motion of our bodies, we're going to be using two iPhones, both carefully placed right below our destructible walls. Then we use the camera feeds to track our body movements and synchronize them across the network in real time. Oh shit, we're running out of time! Speed hacking, commence! Uh, Import norm core multiplayer framework! Uh, network all the bones! Uh, I'm not gonna make it! Who's that? I got you, brother. Now, now let's, let's go, go hack this! this. Yeah. Just like that, we were done. What is it to be close to someone? Is it to understand them? To feel the warmth of their breath? Well, maybe being close is not a thing, but a process. One of continuously breaking down walls until there's nothing. But you and I. <laughs> and there it was. The glorious hole in the wall. A portal between two realities, now connected as one. Ooh, ye. Aiden walked close to it to inspect it. He could see Lucas's room in its entirety with photogrammetry perfection. I mean, check this out. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, Azad will be proud. Things were looking up, and our boys were about to declare victory. But little did they know that the body tracking they coded was a little piece of shit. Hello! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, there's something wrong with your arms. <laughs> I guess the verdict is in. Shortcuts. 
do have costs after all. But let's focus on what matters here because this freaking works! I mean, here I was, a random dude from YouTube talking to my best friend across a portal on my freaking wall and that's amazing! That's, that's amazing! But wait, there's more. Because I coded up an extra feature that lets me copy and paste objects from my room and send them to Aiden across my portal. I mean, oh my god! Now jokes aside, I think this project is a really good example of how AR lets us bend space to connect with the ones we love. An empty wall doesn't have to be an empty wall anymore, but an opportunity to connect. It can be a portal to your office, to your family, to a strip club, and if a random dude was able to make this in seven days, then just imagine what we'll be able to do in seven years. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching the second episode of Lucas Builds the Future. As you can tell, doing these videos is a lot of work, so if you enjoyed it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And speaking of which, I actually have a cool announcement to make, but first, let me get a couple of thank yous out of the way. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much for my Patreon supporters and my Discord community. You guys allow me to do this financially as well as mentally, so I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for Azad and Aiden for being part of this project. They were really helpful and they are just like wonderful creatives. You should check out their work in the description down below. And finally, thank you so much for the Jadu app. Now, Jadu is the whole reason I was able to use that studio for free and create the holograms that you saw in this video. And they are an app that lets you perform with holograms of artists using a camera. It's free to download, it's pretty cool technology, and as of today, there's a hologram of me there. I think that covers all the thank yous. So now, it's time for the announcement. The next episode of Lucas Builds the Future is coming out in two weeks, just in time for Halloween. And you'll never guess what it's going to be about.